Great Silk Road. What are its origins? The term Silk Road was introduced by the German geographer Richtenfen in 1877. For the first time, a deep historical analysis of the formation of the Silk Road was given in the scientific work Historical Notes of the ancient Chinese historian Sima Qian in the 2nd and 1st centuries BC. It describes the legendary abundance in the Han Dynasty. The road was laid in the 2nd century BC and was running from Xi'an through Lanzhou to Dunhuan, where it was divided into two. The northern road passed through Turpan, then crossed the Panmir and went to Fergana and the Kazakh steppes. The southern one passed through Lake Lobnor on the northern edge of the Takla, Maklan Desert through Yarkand and Pamir. And the second part led to Bactria, from there to Parthia, India, and the Middle East to up to the Mediterranean Sea. The first information about the Caspian Sea and its shores was found in the works of the ancient Greek and Roman scientists. Herodotus, who lived about 484 to 425 BC, was the first to compile maps with the designation of the Caspian Sea isolated from the ocean. Aristotle, 384 to 322 years BC, confirmed the conclusion of Herodotus. At the same time, images of the Caspian Sea on antique maps differ significantly from modern ones. In many ancient maps, the Caspian Sea is depicted in the form of an oval stretched from west to the east and not from north to south. In our opinion, the image of the Caspian Sea stretched in the latitudinal direction cannot be a mistake, since such a contour of the Caspian Sea is depicted on most maps of the ancient world by different authors. In this case, the shape of the Black Sea and other geographical objects in general corresponds to the modern form. For example, on the maps of Herodotus, the sea is shown in the form of an oval, and on the map of Poseidon, 150 to 130 BC, the Caspian Sea, as it were, consisting of two parts, the southern wider in the lat latitudinal direction, and the northern one strongly extended in the meridional direction. The area between the southern and northern parts of the Caspian Sea is highly narrowed. The question arises, is such a big mistake in the image of the Caspian Sea possible or could its shape change due to geological factors. Analyzing the modern bathmetric map of the Caspian Sea, one can see that between the southern and middle parts of the Caspian Sea, which are deep sea depressions, there is a narrow elevated isthmus, which in geology is called the Abschron Threshold. This isthmus is a geological continuation of the Greater Caucasus Range, which runs across the Caspian Sea and further in the east manifests itself in the form of the Copet Dog Ridge. In general, these mountain ranges represent a segment of the Alpine Himalayan folded belt, the territory of which is a relic of the ancient Tethys Ocean, which existed here 150 to 200 million years ago. In all the historical maps of the ancient routes of the Silk Road, they stretch from China to Europe, skirting the Caspian Sea from the south and the north. The Caspian Sea is a serious obstacle to a shorter and more convenient route from Asia to Europe. In historical sources of Azerbaijan, there is information about the existence of an ancient overland route from Central Asia directly to the territory of the Caucasus, and this road passed through the Caspian Sea. This historical information for many centuries had been considered a beautiful legend which is difficult to believe. If the Caspian route of the Silk Road existed in antiquity, and there was a natural bridge from Asia to the Caucasus, why did it disappear? There is a historical source confirming that the overland passage plunged into the water in a very short time. In his work, Academician Lenz writes that he heard from the local inhabitants of the Abschron in 1830 that a long time ago, the sea was 20 kilometers further than the islands of Buyuk and Dash Zira are now, 
and just like the islands of Piraulahie and Chirlov, they were a part of the solid continent. Once unexpectedly, the sea went much further and gave the coast the view that it still has. Discovered with the help of space archaeology, the ancient city could exist at the same time as the isthmus from the shores of Turkmenistan to Absheron, that is, from the 2nd to 7th centuries AD, and was flooded along the isthmus as a result of a quick rise of the water level in the Caspian Sea, caused by a change in the volume of the South Caspian Basin as a result of deformation of tectonic processes in the Earth's crust. You see the dynamic computer reconstruction of the processes occurring in the Caspian region from the present time up to the 1st century AD, which allows better understanding of the dynamics of the shape of the Caspian Sea, the formation of ancient overlands isthmus, and the existence of ancient cities and the settlements in this region. Almost 2,000 years after the birth of the Great Silk Road, at the beginning of the third millennium, the outstanding politicians of modern civilization are taking practical steps to revive the ancient trade and economic, transport, and cultural corridor between the East and the West, the Great Silk Road. In May 1993, the program for the restoration of the historic Great Silk Road of Trakeka, the Transport Corridor Europe Caucasus Asia, was initiated for the first time in Brussels. Azerbaijan, in cooperation with other countries, the European Union, and other international organizations, took an active part in the restoration of the historic Great Silk Road and the implementation of the Trakeka program. This global program is developing in a single context with the concept put forward by the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, in 2013. One belt and one way, and aimed at restoring the land and sea routes of the Silk Road. On December 10, 2015, during the official meeting of the President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, with the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, the heads of both countries underlined the unity of views on the development of the Silk Road by strengthening economic, cultural, and transport ties between China and Azerbaijan. On January 15, 2016, the President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, issued a decree approving a Memorandum of Understanding on encouraging the creation of Economic Belt of the Silk Road, signed on December 10, 2015, in Beijing between the governments of Azerbaijan and China.